Hi, a little update for those uh, playing along at home. The 2010 Nissan Duales with the uh, ABS uh, failure down there. There's the ABS uh, system and it uh, failed. The symptom was is that it continually, the uh, pump in there, continue, motor thing continually uh, comes on even though the car is switched off. So <laughs> I had to uh, find the uh, fuse for the ABS system wasn't particularly easy. It wasn't under the dash. Uh, this has uh, this car at least has at least uh, three fuse uh, systems, and to get to them here, I had to uh, take out uh, the inlet uh, pipe work here uh, for the air inlet uh, for the engine. But anyway, um, opened up the first one, and there's the first set of fuses uh there's 19 of them and it was actually number 19 there well no it wasn't it that's the if you can read that that is the um ecu uh the abs ecu is f uh 19 there so i pulled that and the pump still ran so i got access to the second uh fuse compartment down here and it turns out there you go uh abs it's that one down there, that 40 amp jobby. And sure enough, I pull that. There, there's inside of it, by the way, if you want to see inside of a 40 amp automotive fuse, or at least this one anyway. Um, and that uh, did the business. So now it is, uh, I can turn the car, well, <laughs> I reconnected the battery, no worries. And uh, the pump's not running anymore. But of course, when I switch it on, uh, it I get the um, ABS warning light, but uh, still, um, it should still drive fine, except that I have no ABS function, and it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't just uh, immediately, uh, you know, slam on the brakes or something like that. It doesn't do that. All it does is eases off the brakes. Um, actually, when only when the motor's operational. So no, no motor. So it's effectively a fail-safe system, I believe. Um, anyway, we're not going to continue to drive it, but at least I can uh, drive it uh, safely. Uh, drive it to. A service place to try and get a one from a wreckers maybe i don't know if it's the motor itself a lot of people said uh, stuck relay and stuff like that stuck contacts and stuff like that uh some people said uh the mosfets in the back because i don't know if you can see it but there is a controller stuck to the back of it i think down in there so uh yeah you know that could be failed so i should be able to get one from a wreckers something like that because this car is uh, 14 years old uh so anyway We'll see what we see, but um, there you go. Uh, it is now operational again. By the way, I will actually measure the uh, current draw here. I've zeroed that. You've got to zero these things. Um, so, because you move it and the Earth's magnetic field gets in the way, but uh, standby. So what do we get standby? We get, oh, jumps from 70, uh, to 7 milliamps <laughs> up to 20 milliamps something like that that sounds reasonable i did disconnect the uh, abs uh, ecu fuse as well that f19 one uh, makes no difference so i'll just uh, put that one back in and uh, this one uh, so that seems a reasonable current draw i don't know leave it in the comments down below i don't think that's going to drain the battery um so yeah it's good to go it's an update so there you go 2010 Nissan Duales Plus 2, it's the uh, seven-seater jobby, and uh, I'm shooting this in daylight now <laughs> in 4K resolution for those playing along at home. And it's done about 180, 190, I think, 1,000 Ks. So it's, this is the first issue we've ever had with it. So anyway, I'll keep you updated on uh, <laughs> the price of the replacement. Catch you next time.